Hi again. I wanted to address a theory that's been circulating for a while and actually give it its due diligence. It's no secret that the solar system we see in NLP is really weird. The sun itself has to be moved around the planet and all this without affecting the other planets in the solar system. As a result, perhaps it's not surprising that others might look for alternative explanations. In this case, the theory that, much like in our own world, the sun isn't actually what's moving, it's just the planet rotating. And if you've watched the show like I have, you may have already spotted the issue here. Under such a scenario, it's not just the sun that should be moving, but the stars themselves. It makes more sense to imagine the sun and moon are the only things moving because, from the ground, that's what we see. The one reasonable argument in its favour is the fact that, in at least one later episode, the sun seems to move despite the incapacitation of anyone who could possibly move it. We still don't really have a solid explanation for what happened here. With that said, there's no shortage of plausible theories, and even if the sun were to move by itself, that alone is not necessarily evidence of the planet spinning. However, let's try and steel man the argument a little. What other possibilities are there? Well, it could be the stars and the other celestial phenomena such as nebulas are moving with the planet. I'm not entirely sure how or why that would be the case, but stars can be moved from Equestria, so I can't write it off completely? The thing is, if the stars are really moving, how does that disprove the notion that the sun itself could be moved? It's basically the same mechanism. Also, isn't it just simpler to just move the sun and not all the other stars? The other possibility is that the planet itself is in fact orbiting the sun while always facing the same place in the night sky. This brings with it the added complication that the moon now has to be towed along, although a magically induced fixed orbit is nothing unusual. The two main issues that both these possibilities run into are that A, at times when the planet was spinning absurdly fast, the inhabitants should have been thrown off into space or felt lighter at the very least, and B, did all the hundreds of unicorns who claimed they moved the sun and moon just lie about it all this time? In the end, the theory is way too convoluted and requires way too many concessions. While using the real world as a reference point has its benefits, it's also worth remembering that this is a fantasy universe with its own laws. At the end of the day, it's far simpler to just say, the sun is moved around Equestria. Not that this is going to stop anyone who just uses the theory to troll other people in the fandom, but you get what I'm saying. Admittedly, this isn't a widely discussed theory, I literally just picked it because it's something that bothered me, and I just wanted to dig into it. <laughs> so if this is just a big troll, congratulations, you got me. And if this isn't a big troll, well, hopefully this analysis was sufficiently in-depth. Either ways, thanks for watching, and let me know what you think.